Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just put a video out breaking down what happened at the Packers shareholders meeting. And then, like, the second I posted it, Rob Domofsky posted some new news that I want to go over that you know because of this title. But first off, I want to show you the first thing that came out about this situation. So here from Rob Domofsky, Mark Murphy refused to say whether GM Brian Gutekunst and Coach Matt LaFleur have had their original contracts extended. He would only say that he's confident Mark and Brian Russ Ball will continue to be Packer employees for years to come, which made it sound like they got extended, but he didn't say they weren't necessarily extended. But then the new tweet that just came out from Domofsky said this, as Murphy indicated with his quote, a league source confirmed that LaFleur, Gutekinds, and Ball all did contract extensions this offseason and will be part of the organization for years to come. So with Brian Gutekinds coming in here in 2018, Matt LaFleur 2019, the Packers decided to come in and give them extensions. I don't exactly know the details of these extensions. Will we know in the future? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe later today, probably the second I post this video, the news will come out. And if that does happen, I'll try to like comment it in the comments section. So that way we have more of an idea of exactly what's going on here. But I think that is great news that LaFleur and Gutekinds are back because I think you know, Gutekinds is probably one of the better GMs in the league. Same with Matt LaFleur when it comes to being a head coach. We've seen their success. Uh, does it have to do with Aaron Rodgers? A, a good bit of it does when you have a player of Aaron Rodgers' caliber, but still, when you have someone like Brian Gutekinds, who has consistently been able to keep a very solid team around Aaron Rodgers to be able to find these players that other people may not have realized or noticed, like a Devondre Campbell, like Russell Douglas. Brian Gutekinds has done an incredible job here. And honestly, year after year, even though we haven't won a Super Bowl, I honestly think this team has had the potential to. We haven't done it in this or come in and performed in these situations where it mattered most. But I do think lots of these teams had the talent and had the ability to do to make a Super Bowl if we would have lived up to that potential, you know, in those games. So I'm excited to hear this news that LaFleur will be back as well. And when it comes to Matt LaFleur, you know, with him being one of the winningest coaches in his first three years, if not, I think he is the winningest coach, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can check check me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Of course, when Aaron Rodgers leaves, it will be a bigger test for LaFleur because when you have a talent like Rodgers, it definitely helps you. That's not to say LaFleur isn't a great coach. It's just a great combination to have a great head coach as well as a great QB. And so I am curious to see what happens when Rodgers does leave one day. Hopefully it's a long time from now, but we never know when Rodgers will decide to leave. Who knows when he decides to retire? We don't know. It could be as soon as next year, and then we'll get to see you know, what Matt LaFleur can do with a player like a Jordan Love, potentially. So I'm excited to see what Matt LaFleur continues to do. He's, su he's such a young coach that he has so much so much time ahead of him, and hopefully this season he can get a Super Bowl under his belt. So he can start to be you know named with some of those great coaches because I think once he does that, he'll, he'll put his name in that conversation even more. So I'm excited to see this news. I'm guessing you guys are as well. Russ Ball also getting extended. Uh, the Packers, basically salary cap wizard guru guy doing all the accounting to make sure all these contract work. So it's great to keep him along um, with these guys as well. So some more news for the Packers. But if you guys do want to stay up to date with all things Packers at all times, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications so you never miss any Packers news. And I'll see you guys next time.